looking down. He comes up with a knife and banana cream. Definitely banana cream. All right, I'm looking down at this banana cream pie, and then what? He sees himself coming up to you from behind. And? And what does he see? Oh. Nothing. The visions of a madman. What? I go out that door, somebody's going to attack me, eat me alive, and spin me in his web? Yes. What, is too polite to come in here and get me? For some reason, it's, uh, it's afraid of the light. It's afraid of the light. There may be something to what he's saying, Steve. You know what I think? I think this man is a liar and a murderer and just clever enough to make up a story like that. Even to whip up that cocoon just to save a few trees. And I'm going to prove I'm right. This is ridiculous. Where is it, Spitty? I thought it was going to come and uh, devour me. Hey, here I am. Oh, come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah, uh, don't be shy. Come on. Huh? Just like I told you. There's nothing out here but a bunch of trees and pain endurance. You must be one of those rare individuals who's... Nerve endings don't register pain. You just keep telling yourself that. Have you ever performed this uh, act on anyone else? What, are you sick? I tell my audiences that if they're stupid enough to try this themselves, they'll end up with a slight lobotomy. I am a professional. Exactly how does one become a professional, Blockhead, may I? Starting my homeland of Yemen, I studied with yogis, fakirs, and swamis, learning the ancient arts of body manipulation. But most men know nothing of these arts. For instance, did you know that through the protective Chinese practice of Tiu Bu Shan, you can train your testicles to drop into your abdomen? Oh, I'm doing that as we speak. Troop leader. No, oh, his flies undone. You insinuating something? No, most drowning victims are found with high levels of alcohol in their blood and their flies unzipped. While urinating over the sides of boats, docks, or whatever, they lose their balance, fall in, and drown. It still doesn't explain why half of them is still missing. Looks to me like something took a big bite. Is this actual footage of the alien autopsy or simply a well-made hoax? So this is footage of the actual autopsy you performed. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Who is that mysterious man who seems to be overseeing the proceedings? And what secret government agency does this autopsy doctor work for? But see, whoever got a hold of this footage edited it in such a way as to delete all the significant findings. I Open to capitalists' investment. Hello? I think you better get up here. What is it? It appears that cockroaches are mortally attacking people. I'm not going to ask you if you just said what I think you just said, because I know it's what you just said. I'm crouching over a bug exterminator whose recently deceased body was discovered with cockroaches crawling all over him. The local sheriff says that two other bodies were found in the same condition this afternoon. 
Where are you again? Miller's Grove. It has a large science constituency. The other incidents involved a molecular biologist and an astrophysicist, and the witness to this case is an alternative fuel researcher. These reports are not coming from Yahoo's out in the boondocks. No, get it! It's all right, ma'am. We're get federal it! agents. We're here to help you. We're here to help you. We're here to help. We're gonna make sure that you're safe. We're gonna, we're gonna make sure that you get home. How does that grab you? It's a dead cow. Exactly. Or more specifically, a dead 900-pound Holstein. Its body completely drained of blood, as was this one, this one, this one, this one, and so on. Six, all in all, approximately one a week over the past six weeks. Is there any sign of... Two small puncture wounds on the neck? That's not what I was gonna ask. Too bad. We got him. Check it out. Well, these may be syringe marks. They're placed for men to emulate fangs. Such ritualistic bloodletting points towards cultists of some sort, in which case... What? <laughs> yeah, that's probably a satanic cultist. Come on, Scully. You're not going to tell me you think this is that Mexican goat sucker thing? El Chupacabra? No, they got four fangs, not two. And they suck goats, hence the name. So instead, this would be... Classic vampirism. Gene is responsible for the development of its corresponding segment, the legs, the mouth, the body, posterior and anterior, but which I, through my genius, can alter into a creation of my own. Behold, Boscopedia. This fly has legs. Growing out of his mouth. Why would you do that? Because I can. Could that be done in humans? That would go against every scientific convention. What could it be done? Theoretically. <laughs> <laughs>